Love Island, a popular reality TV show, has caused an uproar amongst its fan base because of a weird and disgusting heart rate challenge during Tuesday night's episode. The show, known for its romance-based theme, had a heart rate challenge, which has now returned. This challenge saw the girls and boys pull off their moves in racy outfits to see whose heart they could raise the most. Aya's heart rate was raised the most by... Mimi! Yeah. Fans couldn't help but comment on the excessive finger during the X-rated game, which flared tension among the Islanders. Viewers branded the game gross and begged the girls to stop in the boys' smelly fingers, joking, you don't know where their fingers have been. As audiences usually do to express their thoughts, people took to X, formerly known as Twitter, where fans flooded the site with their initial thoughts on watching the game. Some wrote, the licking and finger sucking needs to end, cause I guarantee those boys' fingers have been somewhere hash love is land. Why is everyone's fingers PLS hashtag love is land? Honestly, like, dunno where their fingers been. Like, what even is this trend? This finger business is making my stomach turn. I am begging them to stop the boy's smelly fingers. This of those unwashed fingers, yeah? As the results came in, Nicole Samuel fumed as her partner Kieran Davies's heart was raised the most by blonde bombshell Grace Jackson. It seems like the show's producers and makers must change their marketing techniques to keep their fan base. Why are fans so shocked after seeing Reese Witherspoon and Ryan Phillips' daughter? Watch to find out! Reese Witherspoon and Ryan Phillips, both megastars of the Hollywood realm, have been in the eyes of the public since their introduction to fame. So it is a given that said public would fixate on the daughter of such an iconic duo. However, what they didn't expect to see was the striking resemblance the daughter has to both her parents. Ava Phillips' social media was flooded with fans calling her a dead ringer for both of her famous parents after she posted a TikTok video of herself earlier this month. The video featured the 24-year-old as she shared a clip of herself showing off her natural beauty as fans marveled at her parents' genetics. In the clip, Ava stood in front of a plain white wall and was lip-syncing to the viral line from the chorus in Sabrina Carpenter's newest single, Please Please Please. The social media personality, who has been celebrating Pride Month as she marked two years since she opened up about her sexuality and claimed to be part of the LGBTQ plus community, wore a black scoop neck camisole, which she teamed with a statement belt and a multitude of layered necklaces. Her strawberry blonde hair was styled in bouncy beach waves, and she rocked a warm brown smoky eye with a rosy pink lip. The TikTok video showed her making sassy expressions and smirking as she sang the lyrics. Heartbreak is one thing, my ego's another. I bet you don't embarrass me mother Spelling it out for the ones who still want to try, she wrote underneath the clip alongside a red lipstick mark and warning sign emoji. As expected, the comment section was flooded with people trying to get their heads around the fact that a daughter could look just like both her parents at the same time. <laughs> That last look was your dad's signature cruel intention smirk, one social media user wrote. Insane, you can look just like both parents at the same time, another added. This started as Reese and ended as Ryan, a fan said. Another TikTok user commented, 100% Ryan, but also 100% Reese. This is crazy, lol. How does a person look exactly like two diff people? Wild, one wrote. You always look like your mom until this video. That face at the end was 100% your dad. Beautiful. I've said it from day one. You look exactly like dad. And Deacon looks like mom, another TikTok. TikTok user added, Reese and Ryan's genetics stay one-upping each other, another TikToker penned. Winning the face lottery with your parents, a complete toss-up on who you look like more, one commented. How do you look exactly like both of your parents? I mean, it makes sense, but it doesn't, one person shared. Jeremy Renner recalls his fatal accident, which nearly cost him his life. Jeremy Renner, best known for his work in Marvel, had undergone a horrible accident on January 1st, 2023, and has just now decided to give the public the harrowing details of what happened. The actor revealed that he remembers his skull all cracking and showed off his scars for the first time in a shirtless snap. The 53-year-old The Avengers star, who is set to join the cast of Knives Out 3, got candid about the harrowing scene in which he was run over by a 14 300 LB snowplow on January 1st, 2023 in Reno, Nevada. He told Men's Health in a recent cover story, it undulates because there's four sections of tires with these metal tracks. It pulls it like a tank. I remember every undulation. I remember my head cracking on the thing and it just pressing on me. It's exactly like you you think it would feel an immovable object and a crushing force and something's got to give someone's been run over by a snowcat hurry are you with them right now uh, yeah is he awake Barely. Renner also showed off his scars for the first time as he bravely posed for a shirtless snap, including one massive marking under his right shoulder blade. I'm pretty tenacious and stubborn. 
Guess I can't be killed. The Brave Star did not spare any of the gruesome details, but expressed his gratitude as it could have somehow ended worse than it actually had. He continued, But thank God, my skull didn't fully give, and then it kept going. Undulate, 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 undulate. Cheekbone broke, eye socket broke, and then from the crushing of getting run over by the machine, my eye bulged out. I could see my left eyeball with my right eyeball. I was screaming for a breath. Jeremy then detailed how he tried as hard as he could to breathe, but nothing he did worked. He said, there was no breathing happening. It's hard to use your stomach muscles when you have 14 broken ribs and a popped lung. I didn't know this at the time. I just needed to get air. I was going through the checklist of my body, figuring it the F out. Following accident. I broke um, uh, 38 bones. Sliced the liver and popped a lung and my eye was out of my head and not giving really any shot to, to kind of even live. The first five minutes were about how I'm going to breathe. I started getting really tired. My heart rate's going lower, lower, lower. Ooh ho, ooh ho, just this exhaustive breathing for 45 minutes. But with the exhaustion, there was almost peace. The EMTs arrived and I thought, I have to give my body up to them because I'm cooked. I'm not getting up. These aren't just cramps. I'm not going to walk back down the driveway to see my family. He told Men's Health that he told himself at the time to focus on breathing until EMTs arrived on the scene to rescue him. He described showering, going to the bathroom. Everything was a disaster. Ooh, they give you medication so you don't go to the bathroom so you get constipated and you pee in a jar. It was awful. That's when you know things aren't going great. You're peeing in a plastic jug. It took me 17 minutes to get out of bed. I was happy to sometimes sit up and push myself into a chair and move a little bit. But a shower, everything took like half a day. I couldn't get stuff wet. Your hair gets super greasy and gross and you stink. But I had all these staples I couldn't wet and I wasn't going to risk infection. So I had sponge baths. Jeremy had several injuries, including 38 broken bones in his ribs, knee, ankles, pelvis, face, and hands. In addition, he also suffered a collapsed lung, a pierced liver, and a major laceration in his head. The Oscar nominee pushed through it all and willed his way back to health while impressively maintaining a positive outlook. He said, I have to get better than I was today. That's all that matters. I'm not setting a high bar here. The only thing we can control in our lives is our perspective. My doctor said that I would never walk again. Um, and if I did, I'd walk funny. I have no business doing a running commercial. Um, 15 months ago, I was dead. You know? It's impressive how the actor sprung up so quickly after such a horrific accident and joined work again. I can't wait to see him on screen again. There you have it, people. The latest and juiciest gossip from Celebrity Town. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. Until next time.